Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Ben here, and I know it's been a while since the last time I published a video. I've been dealing with some personal issues and have been trying to keep myself as productive as possible. The past few months I've just been working out a lot, trying to stay healthy. Enough of talking about me, let's just get right into the video. So I want to show you guys some recent pickups that I've been purchasing. It's been a while since the last pickup video, so I've gathered some pieces ranging from accessories to t-shirts to long sleeves and pants and I'm excited to show you guys what I got so I've been getting into a lot more accessories not necessarily in terms of necklaces or bracelets I did pick up two rings the past few times that I've gone to chrome hearts so the first ring that I bought from chrome hearts is a spacer ring really nice details I purchased this one for 275 bucks, made out of 925 silver, nice engraving all around. The second ring that I picked up is this cross tail ring. And I'm not sure why, but this one is actually $375. So a hundred dollars difference between the two rings. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe this one takes a little bit more time to handcraft it. I put the cross tail on my pinky finger and I put the spacer ring on my index finger. Next up, we have a pair of Converse high tops. These ones are a bit different than the regular Converse's that you guys are used to seeing. They have the chunkier sole, just like the Converse 70s, and the back is has the Made in Japan tag. The quality they use for this is also Japan material, so the canvas is a little bit thicker. The laces are also thicker as well and more durable. As you can see, it has like a little slouch in the back heel. So I pair these with Chrome Hearts shoelace details. These are extremely comfortable sneakers and I highly recommend them. It's a pair that I would definitely double up or maybe even triple up on. The difference between this pair and the Chuck 70s is it has a more rounded toe shape and it's a lot more dull compared to these ones. It's kind of shiny in the front, which I don't really like. Recently bought a pair of leather high tops just to beat around in. These are only $65. I got them at the local Converse factory store around here. Yeah, just a shoe to beat around. I have been wearing these shoes a lot. It goes with a lot of outfits that I'm able to put together and overall it's a great quality sneaker. comfortable to walk around in. I've been wearing these shoes a lot. They hold up great. So whenever these start to die out and start to get more beat, then I'll go ahead and purchase another pair. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys some pants that I picked up. So I've been getting into the double knee style pants a lot and I scored on these vintage Carhartts double knee gray version with some nice distressing throughout the pants. I even added some of my own distressing at the bottom of the hem just to give it a little bit more of that vintage look. Gray is a really nice color. The fade is great. The wash is great. I usually just wear these, throw a random white tee on or something and just call it a fit. I like how there's little distressing throughout the pants and not as many stains or paint stains on them. Nowadays it's kind of hard to find Carhartts that doesn't have a lot of stains or, or leftover paint marks from them. It has a straight fit to it. Nice baggy feel, but not too baggy, you know? And I normally just wear these with high top Converse or Jordan 1s. Next up, we have these denim carpenters that I picked up from Rose Bowl Flea Market in LA last week. These are the denim version of the Carhartt Double Knees. Very minor stains. I like how this pants is a little bit more of an indigo look. Unlike the other vintage Carhartts, they tend to be more of a lighter wash and kind of wanted to go with something different. I don't have a pair of blue denims that similar to this shade of blue. I only have light blue or raw denim navy blue. Next 
actually took out the Carhartt logo there and then painted over it. I did it with the blue Carhartts as well. Took out the stitching there and just painted over the darker shade. I used acrylic paint and this shade of color is called Satin Egg. It's kind of more of like an off-white beige kind of look. Very proud of this pickup. Like I said, I've been getting into double knees a lot lately. Enough of the Carhartts, I'm gonna show you guys the next pair of trousers that I picked up. Neighbors are how I'm going right now. Alright, so next up we have a brand that I've shown previously in my other video. It is a pair of trousers by Blueness Overload. These are a very unique pair of trousers. It's very elastic and stretchy on the waist. The best way to describe these are flared dress pants. And it is something that I've been wanting for a while due to the fact that most dress pants, most dress pants that other brands make has, has more of a slim cut finish. And it's more of like a jogger fit where it's like straight, but it's slimmed down all the way throughout the ankle. But these pants are the complete opposite. Once they hit your knee area, they start flaring throughout the bottom, but it's not too big of a flare. So those were the three pants that I bought lately. And now let's get on to the t-shirts and long sleeves. The first piece that I'm excited to show you guys is, is this Chrome Hearth Thermal by Matty Boy. Those of you that don't know who Matty Boy is, he's one of the artistic designers behind Chrome Hearts and he has his own line within Chrome Hearts. And this one specifically was one I was eyeing the most because just the color contrast and everything is just perfect and has flames on the sleeves. I really like the flames on the sleeves, kind of gives it the Harley Davidson vibe. And speaking of Harley Davidson, that is the next thermal that I caught. I bought this at a vintage store. I mainly bought it because it says Oakland on the back and I'm from the Bay Area. So it was kind of like an impulse decision to buy. It has a bit wider stretch on the collar. I'm assuming that's just how thermals are usually made because the Chrome Heart Thermal is the same. Nice fading to it. This one's a size extra large, I believe, and it fits a little bit more baggy, a little bit more ruggish. Next we have Gallery Department Thermal. This one's more of a beige colorway. You can see it when compared to the, like, the white one. This one's probably one of my favorite pickups. I've been getting into the long sleeve thermals because as we're changing seasons right now, in the Bay Area it gets a lot colder, so it's perfect to wear in the fall. So next, I picked this up from Rose Bowl. This one's actually a vintage Super Mario Nintendo shirt. You can see right there. And has all the dope characters, very light cracking. I'll probably wear this with like shorts or something or sweatpants when I'm just chilling at the house. I don't really like to wear too much like graphic when I'm outdoors. I bought it because I like Mario. It was a steal for $20. Some of my homies and I have found the perfect blank to wear and it is a brand called Sixlr and I've been purchasing a fuck ton of these. You can never go wrong with wearing white tees. I've been finding it extremely difficult to source the same material or similar materials. These white tees, they're very thick, they're very durable and they just 
honestly have such a perfect fit for my body. Normally in t-shirts, I would wear large, but for some reason, these blanks tend to run a little bit true to size, especially for the white tees. I bought a large in the same exact one and it's actually pretty big. And for white tees, I like it to be a little bit more fitted on my body. Bought a bunch of these white tees, black blanks. They also sell charcoal colorway. So those of you who's getting into more um, darker color closing, So these vintage blanks, I believe they're only $10 a piece right now. Back then when I bought it, like six months ago, these were $40 retail. So the more units that you buy of these, the price tend to decrease. So they go by 12, 24, 48, etc., etc. The more that you buy, the more discount that you get. It's super clutch if you and your homies have similar interests in these blanks and would want to go in on a bulk order, just like what some of my friends and I did. Six of large, they finally perfected their blanks and I'm happy to share that with you guys. So I bought a Capital Trucker hat from Con Sheep in San Francisco where it is the only store that carries Capital around here. I think the brown with the cream is the best colorway. I normally don't wear a forward, I'm more of a backwards hat kind of guy. But I think the fit is great. And if I wear a forward, it looks a little weird. Look like a schoolboy. Nah. Finally, I'm done filming. I don't get how some of you guys do this every single week and weeks. It's just honestly so tiring. Yeah, so that is the end of the pickups video. That's all I've been purchasing lately. Right now I'm hungry, so let's just get on with the rest of this video. And if you guys can, just stop the video right now and give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and let's get on with the rest of the video. Peace. So we are currently at a favorite restaurant called the Mia for Japanese curry. Probably the best curry out here in the Bay Area. What do you think? Best curry. Show you guys what it looks like. Literally tastes like authentic Japanese curry. finished eating our dinner and usually after we eat dinner we always go on a walk to digest our bellies since we're already in SJ we thought why not stop by my school and walk around so this is where I spend the majority of my week at in this building right here this is my gym you have to go rock climbing if you guys want in between classes get a little adrenaline you know get a little sweat going <laughs> 